Hey guys, Marcel with Abilities here. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a virtual background in Zoom in case you have a bunch of stuff behind you that you don't want people to see. We've talked about the importance of having a clear-ish background so that it's not distracting to your clients, but sometimes I know with COVID and everything, we're just shoved back in somebody's bedroom and we've got Spider-Man stickers behind us. So if you don't have a spare room that has an appropriate backdrop, this is one way you can get around it. So it's pretty easy. Um, in Zoom, you're going to come down to where your video is. And if we click this, it will share and unshare our webcam. This little up arrow includes all of the options that we have for our um, camera. And so this is the snap camera is where we figured out how to make ourselves into a potato or other silly avatars. Um, but virtual background is where we're going to go today. So when we pull this up, a, a second window comes up. This is just in our settings. And you can, of course, set this from the beginning in your settings to have it automatically do it. Or you can choose it when you're in the meeting, as I'm doing now. So right now, I have none. There are some preset ones that are just as a picture. And so I'm at the Golden Gate Bridge today. Or we have some that are video, if we want to be at the beach with a little action. Um, you can see that it's not quite perfect, like it, it doesn't quite know what to do with my bun and the sides of my face. It seems to be a little bit worse with video than it is with the picture. Nope, they're just about the same. Um, if you get a little bit closer, it seems to do better with some parts of you, but um, it's not perfect, but you know, it's something. It's better than having a big pile of laundry behind you. You also can add your own. So you can see I've added a couple here. And the way that you do that is to come over to this little plus and then add either your image or your video. So just to show you, it looks exactly the same. I've got Godzilla or I've got my everything is fine background. Um, if you want to have some other videos, you know, these I just found on Google, but um, you also can go to Canva. And this is a really great photo editing website. Um, it's free, although you can pay for um, some more um, logos and, and images and things like that that um, are typically more paid uh, or in the paid version, but all of this is free. So if you scroll down, you know, they've got all these different types, Facebook covers, infographics, and things like that. They actually have some Zoom virtual backgrounds. So you can just come here and download some really high quality and fun images if you're looking for something. This one's cute, conference call thing though, I like it. Um, so as we're in this and we wanna, let's say, oh, I don't like this one, I wanna change it back. We're gonna come back to choose virtual background and we can go back to none. Now, if you have a green screen, this would be like if you actually had a screen behind you, preferably green like they do you know, with the weathermen, um, it seems to work worse or better, depending if you actually do have a green screen, uh, I would not recommend it because it, it just washes me out. So I don't use the green screen. And then you can also decide if you want to mirror your video, if you're going to flip yourself. I try not to so that like when I'm pointing to the left, I'm pointing to the left, but um, you are welcome to do that. So that's how you make a virtual background in Zoom. Hopefully that is helpful for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you see the rest of our videos when they are published. Talk to you guys later.